When doing our research, we mainly use the saw posters as our guide to how we want the dowels to be. Here is an example of a poster we looked at compared to our own first copy. We used ideas from the saw posters to create our own. We liked the use of the body parts because we felt it left the audience with a sense of mystery as to what the film was about. We wanted them to question what the significance of the body part to the film was so that it would entice them to come and see our film. When looking at the saw posters, we like the colour scheme that they used of black, white and grey with a slight hint of red. We wanted to challenge the conventions of the saw posters by making the colour red more prominent on our posters because we felt they had more relevance to the horror genre that we had chosen. When researching into watching horror movie trailers, we realised that there was always a part that will scare or shock the audience without revealing too much about the film. These clips are from the Apartment 1303 trailer and we've chosen the parts which are most frightening for the audience to see. The next two clips are particularly tense for the audience who become aware of something which the character in the films themselves cannot see. We tried to portray this within our trailer using both the appearance of the Ouija board and also the main character Ashley as the shock to the audience. To create the dust effect we used talcum powder on the Ouija board. The Ouija board was one of our main props as this was the main feature of our film. We used candles to burn the Ouija board. We used special effects makeup in order to use the conventions of horror movie trailers. We used the fading effect for the transition between the two shots of the characters around the Ouija board and the hand shot. We used the black and white effect to create a sense of mystery as to whose view we are seeing this.